Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Y'all a brew heads? Yeah, we brew heads. So pour a glass of craft beer. We can do this. Yeah. What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead, and welcome to another edition of BBL here on BAOS. And this evening, you wonderful humans, uh, I have a singular beer. A singular beer. So, huge shouts to Noah from Beerism, Noah Forest. He knows what's up. Um, so, this is a brand new brewery, brewery, <laughs> brand new brewery in Quebec called Chant Libre. And it is actually run by Alex from Le Trois Mousquetaires, who I haven't personally met, but Noah has told me 8,000 things about him. Um, so he's just released his first run of, uh, of beers. And this is his, I believe it's his first beer. There might be others, but this is called Epicenter IPA. Um, it's a little murky, just how I like it. Uh, and Noah hooked me up and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a video. Because I'm a huge fan of the Trois Mousquetaires. Um, I love their uh, IPA, the Mosaic version as well. That was one of the first uh, Quebec, I would say, arguably New England IPAs. Even though it wasn't kind of marketed as such, but it definitely was prepared that way. So I'm excited to try this. So, oh yeah, first of all, you know the, you guys know the drill. Shouts to Brewheads um, with the T here, the live happy, die happy. Can you see that shit? I'm not really turning around well. I'm going to knock beers over. Anyway, we've got a link in the, uh, in the bio, in the description for uh, a discount code to get all Brewheads gear. Oh yeah, the hat too. Bam, you know what it is. And of course, shouts to Pretty Penny, Necklace Tings, uh, it is bomb. So, all right. Woof, nice. So, Noah described this as, because the La Trois Mousquetaire um, IPAs were very much in the New England style, he didn't want to just do like a, a carbon copy of that. I'm just pouring slow because I want to make sure I get the all the haze out. Um, he didn't want to do a complete copy. So this is kind of like an East and West Coast IPA um, sort of blend, I'm told. Uh, with sort of the dankness of a West Coast IPA and then the uh, cloudiness and the fruitiness of a East Coast. Well, it most certainly has the, um, the cloudiness of an East Coast IPA. Real quick here. So... It's used Amarillo, Mosaic, Citra, and Columbus. Um, and anything else? Man, I wish it was in English because I could quickly do it, but I didn't. No, I don't have time to do that. Not happening. So, Wicked Color definitely smells a little on the dank side. Um, well, I don't, really don't know what else to do, but get in ya. Nice. That's exactly what Noah said. West Coast dankness, East Coast creaminess. Definitely some tropical fruits there. Uh, definitely uh, a higher bitterness level than uh, a typical New England style IPA. This is great. Um, kind of a chill carbonation. I might, might have expected a little something a little more sharp. Um, it's sitting really nice. I haven't really had many beers that taste like this, and I kind of think that was the point. Hmm. Yeah, man. Definitely just, if you can picture kind of like a creamier West Coast IPA with the dankness present but kind of dialed down a little bit and along with the dankness, that bitterness is still there. Um, that's pretty much what you got. This is actually 5.8%, so it's pretty much like it's not that far above a session. Um, a ton of flavor. Definitely has a body. Does not feel like a session uh, particularly. I wouldn't have picked it. It was 5.8 though. It's not like, it's not boozy or anything, but there's so much flavor. Um, which I believe is pretty difficult to do at, uh, you know, sort of the lower ABVs. Mm. Uh, um, Noah did say that this is their uh, third batch. Um, he mentioned that he did get some bottles of the first and second, so you could see in comparison, but um, I'm happy to get this. This is really, really fantastic, man. I'm excited to go and check out the brewery. I think they're kind of far out. Uh, we'd like to get down there at some point and uh, chat with him. Um, but yeah, this is exciting. There's a whole bunch of new stuff coming out of Quebec right now. Um, super, you know, it's, it's, it's a good time to be a beer drinker in Quebec. Um, so I don't know if this is available in depths, uh, being that it is well branded and, um, you know, everything is like, looks like it's good to go. I would assume that they're, um, oh, it's in Boulevard, Mercier, Quebec is where they are. 
uh, yeah, I would assume it's available in depths and stuff. So definitely keep a, keep an eye out for that and any other products that they're dropping. So I most certainly will be doing that. So uh, thank you again, Noah. Appreciate it, bro. If you enjoyed the episode, smash the thumbs up. Hit subscribe below and hit that notification bell so you know when we drop the new vids. Uh, follow us on social media at BAOS Podcast and check out the long form audio wherever you get your talkie media. Apple Podcasts specifically. Huge shout out to everybody who's been uh, rating and reviewing uh our podcast because that really helps in the rankings and there's been a bunch coming in lately so genuinely appreciated if you haven't done that please go and do it if you're feeling what we're doing and hit subscribe you know the deal that is it guys we'll see you in the next video and as always get it in ya.